Hey. All right, mate. Good to see you, mate. Come on in. Do you have any problems getting here? Well, actually, I got completely lost. Been wandering around like an idiot for ages. It's a bit out of the way here, don't you think? I don't know, it's just off the main road. You don't have to follow it all the way around. Anyway, seem to have done all right for yourself here. We were pretty lucky to get the place so cheap. We? Hello. Ah, oh, right on cue. One sec. Rachel, this is Tim. Hi, lovely to meet you. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hey, you never mentioned any girlfriend, you jammy bastard. <laughs> yeah, I've um, been very lucky. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, ta. Where'd you meet? Funny story, really. We met completely by chance at a mutual friend's party. She completely hated me at first. But then by the end of the night, I persuaded her to kiss me. Fast forward nine months and, well. <laughs> so, Tim, I've heard so much about you. Like what? Only the good stuff, mate. Alex says you were really close at uni. Yeah, you could say that. I is that where you met? We were in halls together. Alex didn't even come out of his room for the first week, you know. And then one night, he come into the kitchen, looking like this fresh-faced fetus, and he's holding this tin of tomato soup, and he says, do I add water to this? <laughs> oh. So what are you doing now, Tim? Alex said you're looking for work. Well, not in the conventional sense, no. Sorry? We're, uh, we're forming a cooperative. Yeah, me and a few others. You know, anarchists, socialists, free thinkers. People who don't want to be part of modern society anymore, you know? People who are fed up with the corruption, the greed, the hatred. We're going to buy up some land. Yeah, we're going to... We're making decisions together as a group. We'll be getting back to nature, really. We'll be surviving by eating simple nuts and berries. Sounds cool, man. Yeah, sounds interesting. Well, Tim, whilst you're here, there's so much to show you around the city. Er, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm mainly here to see Alex, like, but, um, yeah, sure. So my boss walks past me today on the phone. I hold the door open for him. And he turns to me and says, Cheers, Jim. Who the fuck's Jim? That sounds shit, mate. You're basically an anonymous cog in a giant corporate machine. Do you know what? If you drop down dead tomorrow, none of them would remember your name. I won't go that far, mate. Don't kid yourself, Alex. You mean nothing to them. Wouldn't you rather be part of a community that cares about your opinion? Yeah, we actually get a say in how things are run. But I do feel like that. Oh, come on. I'm serious. I'm in charge of a small team, and they listen to everything I tell them. When I'm in the meetings with the senior managers, I actually feel like they're listening to what I say. No, they don't. Don't you remember any of our conversations at uni about not selling out? Not working for these big corporations? Just working for ourselves, you know? Being free. That was a long time ago, mate. Oh, it's about time I went to bed. Already? Lock the door when you're done, mate. Rachel's left you a sleeping bag on the sofa. Sure. No, mate. Alright, mate.
How was your day? Hey, good, thanks. Cool. I was thinking about your cooperative today at work. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was thinking, isn't land really expensive to buy? How can you afford it? Uh, yeah, uh, well, we'll need jobs too. Um, that's, that's why I'll in interview today. Oh? Yeah, it's like an interview, an induction thing for, for a construction company. Uh, first we had a written test and then a practical test. And uh, I aced them both. Yeah, they hired me on the spot. <laughs> Just like that? Yep. Well, that's great. When does it start? Uh, ne next week or so. Well, congratulations. We should all go out for a drink to celebrate. Definitely. So what are we all having to drink? I'm all right, babe. I don't really feel like drinking. Oh, we've got to. Tim's got a job. Have you? Yes, I have, as a matter of fact. It's with a construction company. Where? No, oh, they're based locally. Specialised in roof guttering and tiling. Right, oh, yeah, uh, cool. What's the company called? Alex. Sorry. No, well done, mate. That's good. Cheers. Right, get some drinks then. What we have him? Dry white, Pinot, large. Hey, it's it, So, Tim, what's next in the cooperative? Good question. Well, first, we need to establish our manifesto. <laughs> well, I thought this was a farming cooperative, not a political party. Well, it's the same principle. First, we establish the ground rules, and then we make our decisions together as a group. And then we lead humanity, by example, on how to live in peace and harmony. Sorry, I don't understand. What are you actually going to do as a group? Well, I don't know how I can make it any more clear. Well, what I mean is, living in peace and harmony all sounds very nice, but surely there's a lot more to it than that. Well, with all due respect, I don't think someone like you is really ever going to understand. Ah. Mate, I'm not sure that I'm getting it either, to be honest. Did you just make all of this up so you could impress Alex because actually you've done nothing with your life? Fuck you! Guys, come on now, stop it. Let's just have a drink and we'll talk about something else. sake, Alex. Stop apologising for everything. And just be honest, yeah? You're glad to be rid of me. I didn't say that. You need to wake up and face the truth, mate. The old world's gone to shit. And this comfortable little bourgeois lifestyle of yours ain't gonna last. Do you even read anymore? Do you have any idea what's going on in the world? Not really. And you've clearly forgotten everything that I taught you. So, let me spell it out for you. No one gives a shit about you, Alex. Yeah? You might think the system's here to protect you, 
the neoliberal capitalist cocksuckers just want to crush you into a tiny little cube. Politics is a sham, mate. It's a distracting sideshow. The global elite of bankers, Jews and corporations that have all the real power. Mate, stop. Why have we stopped? You do realise Rachel is Jewish? Well, seriously? Yes. Oh, that explains a lot. I'll go fuck yourself. When are you going to stop being such a prick? You spent your whole life thinking you're the smartest guy in the room, when really, you're in your 30s and you've never held down a proper job for more than a few weeks. You're just a bitter, twisted failure. Fuck you, Alex. You're just a slave to the corporate- I can't believe you had a wank in my living room. Where else was I supposed to do it? Not in my fucking flat! What is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Alex. What? I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have done that. Alright. I'm sorry too. I'm sorry I got so angry. Look. Is there any way I could stay for just a bit longer? No, no way. Rachel would never allow it. Please, Alex, look, I've... I've got nowhere else to go. What do you mean? How about your family? They're all gone. All of them. Look, please, just... Can I just stay for a bit longer? I can't. Why not for fuck's sake? Look, please, mate, I'm begging you here. It's just impossible. What's that? Take it. Oh, I don't need your fucking hand outs, Alex. Take it, you idiot. Look, mate, maybe when this all blows over, maybe we can go for a drink. Yeah, we'll go for a drink. You just washed your fucking hands of me. You're my best mate, Alex.